Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta Channel, which is the build 22635.4435. The Beta Channel is still on the version 23H2. We're hoping that soon enough Microsoft will move the Beta Channel to 24H2 and so on. But in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta Channel. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future offers like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, a change that is related to the start menu or the taskbar and that is basically whenever you're holding shift and control when clicking on a jump list item in start menu or the taskbar, this will now launch that item as admin, just like if you were to do shift plus control and click the app icon itself. So for example, if you were to search for CMD, hold control shift and then click on command prompt, we're going to notice that command prompt will be opened as admin and this will now happen with all the jump lists that we have inside the start menu or the taskbar and I think that is pretty nice a small little change that can be pretty useful in this build we also have some changes related to dynamic lighting when no compatible devices are attached the dynamic lighting settings page will now show a placeholder message and brightness and effects controls are disabled and also on the dynamic lighting settings page Microsoft added forward backward outward and inward direction options to the wave effect and added the forward direction option to the gradient effect. So as you can see in this case, the options are grayed out and no dynamic lighting compatible devices are detected on this computer. Also, Microsoft is doing some changes related to the Copilot key customization option inside personalization and then text input. And uh, basically, Microsoft is re-enabling this functionality with some refinements in the beta channel. They limited the apps that can be launched by the Copilot key to those apps that have opted into this experience. This is to ensure apps targeted by the key know they will be used in this way and meet security and privacy requirements to keep customers safe. So basically some other things that Microsoft figured that they needed to change after releasing and testing the feature on the beta channel. We also have some fixes in this build related to the taskbar. Microsoft made another fix for the Windows plus one, two, three, and so on associated with the position on the taskbar not working in some cases in the latest flights. They also fixed an issue where the X button to close an app window from the taskbar wasn't working for some insiders. Related to input, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which could cause the mouse to unlock from a game window on a system with multiple monitors after opening and closing game bar so you couldn't use it within game. We also have some other fixes, for example, related to Bluetooth, Microsoft fixed an app stopping to respond because of a memory leak in a device. This update also adds new phone numbers for several regions. Microsoft fixed certain collector sets that do not close correctly when an exception occurs during startup or while the set is active. This update adds to the list of drivers that are at risk for bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. Also, the pin reset does not work when you select the I forgot my pin link on the credential screen. This is an issue that was fixed. Also, when you use the USB cable to connect to it, it would print a specific network command text when you do want it to. Also, an issue related to Microsoft Teams where you wouldn't be able to join Teams meetings when you select an Outlook meeting reminder. This update brings profile up to date for certain mobile operators. A VM switch stop error was fixed and also fixed an issue related to WebView 2 apps that did not detect input from Xbox 360 and Bluetooth control. So basically, this is the latest beta channel build. If you want to learn more about it, please don't forget to check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.